going to different cities and seeing how the young people are just super engaged and you know, before the show they were mad excited, especially in Leeds, like the guys were kind of just really, really amped and looking forward to it. And it really edifies in one's mind how you should not underestimate the impact of art and how it can inspire and empower other people. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Salutations, hellos, good afternoons, etc. etc. It's Tommy Amen Evans, spoken word poet, and we're just reflecting on the night before, the morning after, is it the morning after, the night before? We're reflecting upon the Liberation at Amen tour that we've just completed, a five-day tour around the UK, a groundbreaking one-man show that incorporated spoken word poetry, video installation, photography, and autobiographical narrative. And we've tried to accomplish something that hasn't been done before in the field that we're traversing. We wanted to break the mold, think outside of the box, do our own thing in a si generi way, and hopefully we've accomplished it. And that's been testified to by the reactions of audiences. And I was like in awe of the, of the show. It was an amazing event. And I really, really would like to see more artists embrace this. More Muslims, more Muslims embrace this sort of art form and see Tommy Evers perform again. It was really an amazing event. I would say come down, check it out. Um, poetically, it's fantastic. It's a real, 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 real testimony of the faith as a man who basically is completely honest, his authenticity is sublime. Definitely something which is different and good. It's so much more fun, it's so much more fun than what you'd see, man. One of the reasons why we put this tour together was to connect with audiences who might usually be reluctant to come to a show of this nature where you're hearing about someone's conversion story. And there's an established canon or an established template of how stories of this nature are shared and delivered. And it's been an amazing experience connecting with audiences around the country, sharing my life story in a very unique, quixotic, individual style that is very different to what's currently out there. In fact, there was uh, one guy who was saying to me, yeah, yeah, become a Muslim, it's all right, just, you can still do what you're doing, just make Tolbert and go to Jumbo every Friday. And that'll be enough. <laughs> Father to son, it runs in the family. Can't be mimicked, revisit the Qur'an, the prophet he lived in. Thank you. Peace and love and affection and admiration to Birmingham, you made my evening. I'm from Leeds and we got to perform in Leeds and it was a very nostalgic experience for me. During the performance, I noticed a youngish lady at the back who looked very familiar but I couldn't quite place it. And then we did a Q&A at the end and it became apparent to me who it was. And I realised it was an old school friend. And she was with another couple of my old school friends who I had not seen in such a long time. And the fact that they really, really appreciated the performance, they were super respectful, they were genuinely happy to see me doing what I love and sharing a positive message for all communities, for people of all backgrounds, be they of a faith tradition or not. How are you guys doing? Oh, this is like school reunion, man. I found it very interesting, a very interesting insight into how we perceive the faith from what we see in this yeah. country because it, it brought it out and it made you think, well, yeah, hold on a minute, why are we perceiving Islam and Muslim in that light? Not Brilliant. really something you come across in normal everyday Very life. Very often. So. Yeah, we're the, good. The uh, parallels with the Quran and the verse, that was interesting. Yeah. I didn't realise that it rhymed. I didn't really know what to expect, but just... Uh, seeing a childhood friend and how he's grown and the journey and it, how how what he's done has affected him and his, his route into faith I found really, really interesting. That was really, really precious and value to, valuable to me and probably the highlight of the tour is very moving. I'm going to break into tears now. <laughs> you have to be careful that you don't become complacent or underestimate the power of your words. And for these young people, it blew their minds, hopefully in a way that accelerates epiphanies and catalyzes action in the audience. So it's not just a case of them passively watching the show and imbibing it, 
but rather they take on board my life story and reflect upon it and then hopefully use it to inform their own ideas and actions and that's been really beautiful for me. Then people messaging you on social media or posting photos and seeing the comments and just seeing how inspired the individuals who attended the show were, was well, just mad humbling. It really resonated with me. It makes me even more determined and resolute to continue on doing what I'm doing as an artist because I see how my words have an impact. And obviously this is through the permission and the power of Allah, but it's something that I really want to deliver and share with wider audiences in the hope that they can take something out of the show and then go back to their communities and empower themselves and other people with a positive message through art.